Do you know the risks of rabies in cats and how to protect your pet? This video is for cat owners and those considering adoption. We cover important aspects of rabies in cats, including identifying the signs of rabies, understanding its prevalence, and answering the question, can I get rabies from a cat scratch? By the end of the video, you will be knowledgeable about the signs of rabies in cats and equipped with practical steps to protect the health of both you and your cat. Join us on this informative journey to ensure the well-being and health of your feline friend. 1. How common are rabies in cats? It is important to know the signs of infection, the risks of transmission through scratching, and the importance of preventive measures. Although less common in cats than in some wild animals, rabies remains a serious threat in certain parts of the world. Therefore, it is necessary to pay attention to awareness and vaccination. Under Understanding rabies in cats and its prevalence. It goes without saying that rabies in cats is of vital importance to cat owners. Rabies is a deadly virus that affects the central nervous system of mammals, including cats. Concerned pet owners often ask, how common is rabies in cats? While cases have declined significantly in regions with strong vaccination programs, rabies in cats persists globally, especially where stray animal populations are high and vaccinated vaccination efforts are minimal. This highlights the importance of regular vaccination for all cats, including those living indoors, as they can contract the virus through accidental exposure to wildlife or unvaccinated animals. Transmission through scratches? A closer look. Some people may wonder whether they can get rabies from scratching a cat. Although rabies transmission is usually associated with bites, it is important to remember that the virus can also be transmitted through a scratch if an infected animal's saliva comes into contact with an open wound. Terms such as cat rabies scratching, cat scratching, and rabies. And can you get rabies from cat scratching raise concerns about the possibility of contracting rabies through cat scratching. It is very important for cat owners to be vigilant and seek medical attention if they are scratched by a cat that is unvaccinated or exhibiting unusual behavior. This is especially important if the cat vaccination status is unknown. It is also important to be aware of the signs of rabies in cats. Recognizing the signs of rabies in your cat is crucial for early intervention. However, it is important to remember that the disease is almost always fatal once symptoms appear. Early signs may include behavioral changes such as increased aggression or unusual timidity. As the virus progresses, more specific symptoms may appear, such as excessive drooling or foaming at the mouth, difficulty swallowing, now seizures, paralysis. Signs of rabies in cat's eyes include changes in pupil size or responsiveness. If you are wondering how to tell if your cat has rabies or what the first signs of rabies in a cat are, it is crucial to monitor for symptoms, especially if your cat has been potentially exposed to rabies. Prevention and cat care. Rabies. Prevention is all about vaccination. Questions like, can indoor cats get rabies? And why is my cat drooling? point to the need for universal vaccination as even pets can be at risk through accidental escape or exposure to infected animals. Regular veterinary checkups, providing a safe environment for your pet, and educating yourself about rabies are important steps in prevention. Understanding rabies in cats, being aware of the potential for transmission through scratching, and being vigilant about vaccinations and pet care are key components of responsible cat ownership. By staying informed and proactive, cat owners can help protect their beloved pets and families from this deadly virus. 2. Can I get rabies from a cat scratch? A concern for many pet owners, rabies is spread primarily through the bite of an infected animal. However, the question, can I get rabies from a cat scratch, often arises, underscoring the need for clarity about this mode of transmission. Although the probability is low, it is important to know that rabies can be transmitted if the saliva of an infected animal rich in the rabies virus comes into contact with an open scratch wound. 
This scenario highlights the critical role of the infected animal in the transmission chain and the importance of vaccinating pets, especially cats. Understanding rabies behavior in cats is key to recognizing and preventing the spread of this deadly virus. Signs of rabies in cats can range from behavioral changes such as increased aggression or unusual timidity to more serious symptoms such as excessive drooling, difficulty swallowing, and paralysis. These signs help to identify a rabid cat and emphasize the importance of early detection and prevention. The concept of cat scratching and rabies raises the possibility, albeit rare, of rabies virus transmission from cats to humans. This is a reminder of the complex interactions between cats and signs of rabies and the risk to humans, and it emphasizes the need for caution and preventive measures, especially in areas where domestic cat rabies or rabies virus in cats may be more prevalent due to low vaccination rates or increased exposure to wild animals. The answers to questions such as the prevalence of rabies in cats and how common rabies is in cats vary by region. It is largely influenced by local vaccination practices and the interaction between domestic animals and wildlife. In areas where vaccination is rigorously practiced, the incidence of cat rabies and therefore the risk of transmission via cat rabies scratch is significant significantly reduced. This underscores the need for a multi-pronged approach to control the transmission of cat rabies, including regular vaccination, monitoring for signs of cat rabies, and understanding the risks associated with cat scratching and rabies. By being informed about signs of rabies in cats and taking preventive measures, cat owners can significantly reduce the risk of rabies transmission to themselves and others and underline the interdependence of human and and animal health in the fight against rabies. 3. Signs of rabies in cats and how can I tell if my cat has rabies? Symptoms of rabies in cats can vary, but typically start with a change in behavior and progress gradually. You may notice that your cat is unusually aggressive or timid. As the disease progresses, physical signs may appear, including excessive drooling or foaming at the mouth, difficulty swallowing, seizures, paralysis. If you see any of these signs, especially in a cat with an unknown vaccination status, contact your veterinarian immediately. Robbie is always fatal once clinical signs appear, so early detection and prevention are crucial. Now you may ask, can you get rabies from scratching a cat? The answer is that it is possible, although rare, if the saliva of a cat containing the rabies virus comes into contact with the scratch wound. This emphasizes the importance of keeping a safe distance from stray or unfamiliar animals and making sure your cat is vaccinated. Cat Care Tips Caring for a cat is more than just cuddles and playtime. Here are some quick tips to keep your furry friend healthy. Get vaccinated. Keep track of your cat's vaccinations, including the rabies vaccine. Regular checkups. Annual visits to the vet can help detect and prevent health problems. Hygiene, regular grooming, and dental care can help prevent disease. Indoor environment. Keeping your cat indoors can reduce the risk of exposure to rabies and other diseases. Finally, remember that knowledge is power. By educating yourself on topics like cat rabies, you're not only protecting your beloved pet, you're also protecting your home and your community. So keep learning, stay vigilant, and keep loving your furry family members. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more pet care tips and tricks. See you in the next video.